So now that we know how the waves are produced, we now go forward and try to understand, we try to understand what is the nature of these electromagnetic waves, right? Now it can be shown from the Maxwell's equations, it can be shown from the Maxwell's equation. that 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 the b and e that is the magnetic and the electric field that is the magnetic and the electric field are perpendicular to each other okay are perpendicular to each other okay now if if you're not so convinced then let me let me illustrate by the parallel plate capacitor example okay in this parallel plate what is the direction of the electric field what is the direction of the electric field if, if this is positively charged and this is negatively charged then the direction of the electric field is something like this and what is the direction of the what is the direction of the magnetic field we know that if this field is changing it produces a a changing flux and a changing flux produces a a changing flux produces a displacement current and that current is directed like that so what is the direction of the magnetic field at any place it is it is it is it, 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 it is on the periphery of the circle by ampere's law and what happens what happens it is always perpendicular you know the direction may be anything it, it could be this or it could be that or it could be pointing towards us or it could be pointing towards this see 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 if if this is my electric field then everything all the circle all the circle which which has this field as perpendicular to its plane everything lying on that circle is perpendicular to this you understand it does not look like that so so i'm i'm saying like that if, if this is the field and and i'm anywhere here and my and my current points like that right my current points like that so it will be anywhere on this circle right anywhere on this circle i'm if i'm closer or or, or if if i if i go away it's always on a circle so each of those circles at at each point of those circles the the vector is is tangential to that circle correct so so i mean to say this so so what happens this and wherever you draw wherever you draw uh, uh, a vector on this it will always be perpendicular to this okay so so even otherwise from uh, uh, an example we see that we see that that b and e are are perpendicular to each other are perpendicular to each other okay fine and the 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 so e and b are perpendicular and the the direction of propagation of the wave is in the direction of the vector e cross b okay and direction of propagation direction of propagation of the vector is along 
the direction of E cross B. Okay. It goes along E cross B. Now let us say let us say if if this sinusoidal wave has been produced by a sinusoidally varying sinusoidally oscillating charge. So so how will it look? Say I draw my E. Okay, my E along this. Okay. So, so this is my x-axis. This is my y-axis and my b is along that. Okay. So, b is along that and to show, so, so my b is So, so what happens, these arrows will show you that, okay, with time this is how the, the B vector varies, okay. see so this is my electric vector and this is my magnetic vector and what is the direction of propagation e cross b points in 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 z axis positive z axis direction right so this is my z so this is the graph of a wave that will be propagating in the in the z axis direction okay we understand that do we get that point? Now, these two waves are sinusoidally varying and are traveling waves. Let us, let us try to understand that. They are traveling waves. Okay? Now, how do I represent it? Fine? That, 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 is, that is what we will do next.